Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who's new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be a collaboration video with Rapunzel who is supplying all the scarves and the shaper and everything you're going to see here. And before we go into the tutorial for this look which is going to be the super braid, um, I just want to say I got inspired to do this look. Actually I had an idea for this already quite some time and then I got uh, super inspired on top of that by a post on the um, Rapunzel community group on Facebook. Hi Tamara, that was your post and I promised her that I would figure out a solution for this look because she felt like hers didn't work out so well. So this is going to be my solution. I have to warn you though, this is going to be a heavy one. This is going to be a bulky one. This is the super braid. So you have to make your adjustments if you want to use a smaller shaper or if you want in general this look to be smaller, then maybe you have to try to, you know, get the braid smaller using less scarves or something like this, but we're going to get into this in a second. Um, I want to also say that I'm filming this way later than I usually do because I was sick for five days. Maybe you can also hear it on my voice that it's still a little bit raspy. Um, that's why this is like very, very last minute. And when I'm filming this yesterday, my mom and my sister and her husband, um, they left, they, they had been visiting, visiting me here in Israel and they left uh, to go back to Germany. And in the last hour, before they went back to the airport, we decided to film part of this tutorial together for no particular reason besides that I wanted to create a memory with them and I wanted to show them to you. I mean my mom, some of you have seen already uh, last year when I filmed with her a makeup series, but uh, my sister has never been on video with me and um, I just wanted to create memories with them. So that, that is the only reason. Plus this braid, I cannot braid that while I'm holding it up and showing it to you while I'm doing this. So I had to do that while it was lying in front of me. So I needed anyway help from someone to to film that for me from the top down. So that's what we did in my kitchen. And because it was very, very last minute and I was still very sick, you'll see it in the video, which is going to come up like in the clip right after this introduction. Um, I'm wearing no makeup. I'm super pale. I'm still super sick. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even wearing a Rapunzel scarf. So never mind all that. There was so super, super, super spontaneous. So that's what we did. And uh, yeah, so you're going to see that right now. And then we're going to go in the in the real tutorial part. Hi, everyone. Hi. Okay, so this is a very impromptu video from my kitchen with my mom and my sister. You all know that they, they are coming. They came here to visit. And we were not planning to film this right now. It's very, very um, spontaneous because they are basically on the way back home to the airport. So we just wanted to create a memory. And that's why I want to show them to you because my, my sister also has never been with me in a, in a video. My mom, you saw already a year ago. Anyway, so they are here. And before before we have to say goodbye, we just want to do this together. And um, as I have told you probably in the introduction of the video already, that um, I'm going to show you how to do this braid of the look that I still have to film. So this is what we're going to do. And we have to do that this way because I need someone to help me to film this from the top down because I cannot um, braid it while I'm holding it up. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, you want to say hi, YouTube? <laughs> hi, ladies. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the braid. Okay, my lovelies, now you have here uh, five different strands. Okay, you can, of course, go according to the color scheme you want, but I chose very thin, lightweight scarves because, of course, this braid is going to be big and heavy. So you need a, a some kind of a rubber band or something to tie the, tie the uh, scarves together. So that's what I'm going to do here. And my sister is assisting me and she's holding the end right here. What you can do if you have nobody to hold it for you, you can just put something that is a bit heavy on this end here. Okay, but she's holding it for me now because that makes it much, much easier for, you know, to do the braid. So I'm using the technique that I also used to do my Shabbat bread, which is uh, challah. So when I use five strands, I just put them like this next to each other and then I'm going always from the right side to the middle and then to the left. Mm -hmm. So I'm always going above, underneath, above, underneath, and then I put it here. So the one that was all the way to the right is now all the way to the left. And this is how I continue all the way down. Above, underneath, above, underneath, this way. 
above, underneath, above, underneath. And this is how you go all the way down. I would say probably at least half the length of the, of the scarves. And, and you, just the same technique all the time, go down, down, down. You don't need to do the whole length for the wrap that we're doing, but just so you understand that this is the technique that I'm using. And don't do it too tight. Leave it lying flat like this so it is thin. It is loose and thin like that. It will um, be smoother around your shaper. Again, above, underneath, above, underneath and then of course if you have scarves that have some kind of pattern or something then you can of course still adjust it but um, just so you know leave yourself some space do it loose so it lies nicely flat because if you do it tight it will be more like a roll and less flat so you need it flat like this Okay, sweeties, you have hopefully just seen my life video with my family in my kitchen. <laughs> okay, so the Wendy Shaper is on as usual and I got a comment the other day if I'm using some kind of glue to get the, sh the Shaper to hold. I wish there was. I, there is no glue as far as I know. I'm just my really my only trick to make the, the, the looks that I do or the wraps that I do hold and stick and not move is and that seems to be just working for me. I don't know because so many people try it and they say it doesn't help them but for me that's really all I do this that I tie one knot at least one knot per look that that is my magic formula seriously so first of all I'm taking the Sparklicious in green and I'm going to just wrap that from the top down both ends hanging down more or less equally again I'm flipping it in in the front let me just adjust my mirror a tiny bit um, and then I'm tying it behind my head and then I'm just gonna let it hang down. And while I'm doing that, I also want to point out that the um, the Jewish high holidays are coming up, and that is going to drag on <laughs> for quite some time till almost end of October. And I just want to say that my upload schedule will be totally upside down because of that. Because obviously on our high holidays, I'm not going to release videos. I'm trying to pre-film, but just so you know, things will not be the usual on the usual schedule till about the end of October. Just so you know, okay, I'm going to try to throw in videos in between my holidays and all of that, uh, but make sure if you're subscribed that you have the, the uh, notification bell on so you will not miss it, okay? All right, so this is how it looks. And now I'm going to take this pre-braided, pre-braided, braid <laughs> that you just saw in the video this one and I'm going to just put it down it doesn't really matter um, which way you you put it down because we only braid it about halfway right so it doesn't really matter so much it depends really what what your preference is I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put it down one way <laughs> and so that this this part with the, the with the rubber band is behind my head like this Okay, then I'm going to just bring the rest of the braid and then also the, the extending straight um, scarves, sort of. I'm going to bring them around and I'm going to, while I'm doing that, tucking these ones underneath. Like this. Okay, now basically this scarf or the, this braid is actually holding its, itself, you know, the tail end, basically. So now I'm just tugging on this a little bit in order to make it a little bit more tight around my head. And now you can, you can do whatever you want, basically. You can either take those, even though this is five scarves here, um, you can braid them. Uh, if you want, you can still braid them. I'm just going to twist them around each other. Because if you braid them, it feels like it's gonna be even more voluminous, but maybe I'm just imagining this. So I'm just going to, to twist them like this, and then I'm going to bring them behind the braid, like this. And then I'm just going to lift the back end of the braid up a tiny little bit, so it sort of melts into the twisted part, if that makes sense. Something like that. So now we, I hope you can hear me when I'm turning around and talking. I'm, I'm gonna try, okay? I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. 
I'm going to bring the the twisted part around towards the the back of my head towards the center like this and then you see that we still have the sparklelicious, both sides of the, or both strands of the sparklelicious hanging down from the very beginning, because this is what we put down first. So now I have the tail end of, of all of those scarves here hanging down in the middle of them, like this. Okay. Oh, I hope I hope you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm basically just taking both of those, bringing them up, the sparklelicious one side and the other side, and I'm tying a knot above. Okay, so and now I'm just gonna let it hang like this. So this is basically my finished look and for me that works. <laughs> I hope I hope you could understand what I was doing there because um, my microphone is not the best and um, when I'm turning towards the back then I think you probably noticed that the it doesn't pick up my voice so much. So anyway, I also cannot talk so loud today. Um, yeah, but this is the look. And I actually really, really like it. So yes, it is really heavy compared to other looks, but I do feel you can tone it down um, just by maybe using less less scarves for the braid itself. If you do a braid with uh, three strands, then of course you are very, very close to my Girl from Ukraine wrap. And But if you want to go for more, then, then you have to live with the weight. <laughs> That's just what it is. Or you don't bring this twisted part up and you just let it hang down in the back um, but then it gets very heavy on the back so I prefer personally to have the weight on my head instead of it pulling down in the back but you can see like whatever your preference is um, I hope Tamal and all of you that this helps you and um, yeah that you will enjoy this wrap let me know in the comment section down below what you think and if it helped or if it didn't help let me know too you know there's maybe nothing much I can do about that but I would still like to know how, how you're feeling and everything about these things so yeah so that is the wrap I love the color scheme absolutely but um, if you do post pictures also in other color schemes please surprise me please tag me because I so get inspired by the looks that you create with just just doing different color schemes that is that's my life I love that so much so yeah please do that if you're new here then please subscribe to my channel and besides that leave your comments I said give the video a like if you liked it and I'll see you here next time for my next video which is at some point because I told you I uh, next Monday there will be definitely not a video because that is our new year but um, I'll see if I can push it in at some point during the week or something or we will see so please stay tuned it it is coming I'm not disappearing from the face of face of the earth it's just that holiday season is holiday season right all right I'm gonna do my best I promise you as always you find the things that I used in the comments that no not in the comment section in the description box down below and um, all the other information about Rapunzel and about myself you find there as well and if you want to order something from Rapunzel then please feel free to use my code that I have with Rapunzel that gives you five percent of your order it is affiliated so if you want to support me in that way I would really really appreciate it and thank you so very much and yeah that is it for today I love you so much and I'll see you here next time and up until then go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye